Okay, Tadpole Scouts, your badge guide Wickety here. For a herpetologist badge, we need to study the reptiles and amphibians of post-apocalyptic Appalachia. Ever upwards! All right, let's go over our list. We need to take the exam, craft a frog habitat, and take a bunch of photos. Easy enough. I like to get the exam out of the way right off the bat. At Pioneer Scout Camps, you'll find exam terminals like this one. A link to the exam answers are in the description. We do need a deluxe ProSnap camera, which can be found off of a tourist body at these locations. I've linked the map and a better guide if you need help locating them. Like here at Watoga, you're looking for something like this. In order to craft a frog habitat, you have to unlock the option to do so. It gets unlocked along with a frog jar automatically the first time you join the Pioneer Scouts, so you should be set with that. First you need to craft the frog jar, which can be made at any chemistry station. It needs one blood leaf, four glass, and one wood. Next, we need to catch our prints. Probably the most consistent location to find frogs is at the White Springs Golf Club over at the pool house. You just have to walk up to them and the option to catch them should be available. Since you're here catching frogs already, it's probably a good idea to snap the required picture too. Back at camp or any claimed workshop, in order to finish this part of the badge, you just need to go into workshop mode. The frog habitat is under the tab floor decorations. Just gotta find the right spot to put him. Perfect. The rest of the badge requirements are super easy. It's just taking photos of these creatures. Over at Gnarled Shadows, we're gonna start with our first creature, the anglers. You can see that they're here in the water from their little glowing lures. I had to actually get them to come out of the water in order for the photo to register. Gulpers are really easy to find over at Gulper Lagoon. You could also find them uh, between Crevice Dam and Dire Chemical along the riverside. Now in order for the photo to count, you actually have to see the name of the gulper overlaid on the camera. So these photos that I took didn't register, I had to take another one later. Okay, so we have to take photos of the various different Myrlurks. Some easy ways to find them are over at Highland Marsh, Sunrise Field, or during the event Swarm of Suitors at Pioneer Scout Camp. And lucky for us, they can usually be found together. You're looking for the crab, the hunter, the king, and the queen. I got pictures of three out of the four Myrlurk types over at Highland Marsh. Sometimes Myrlurk hunters are not always with the rest of the Myrlurks, so a pretty consistent spawn is over here at Lake Reynolds. Rat Toads will always show up at Landview Lighthouse during the Path to Enlightenment event. Or if you don't want to wait for night time and the event isn't going on for you, just north of Berkeley Springs is a pond where there's always going to be some Rat Toads. And then that leaves us with just the Deathclaw. You can consistently find Deathclaws at Thunder Mountain Substation TMO2, over at Abandoned Waste Dump, and of course, here at Deathclaw Island. Just try not to die from risking your life trying to get that perfect shot. Sweet, another badge down. Let's check out the shots we've taken. So sometimes getting the camera to work correctly can be a bit tricky. I know I had some troubles, so here are a few tips to help you out. Probably the biggest issue is that sometimes, even though you clearly have the subject in the shot, the name isn't overlaying, which means the picture won't be registered for your challenge. When that happened to me, I did a few different things to troubleshoot what was going on. First, I would reload and check and see if that would work. If that didn't work, I would unequip my camera and re-equip it or switch from my camera to a weapon and then back again. The third thing I would try is switching to my backup camera. After the bucket list quest, you'll find broken deluxe pro snaps as loot. I suggest fixing a couple up for your photo challenges if you have issues. That 
and you can put different camera mods on them. I have my 105 millimeter lens on one camera and an unmodded one for my backup. I notice that normally, if I'm not moving and I'm not detected, I usually have no issues taking a shot that counts. And these creatures don't even have to be alive for the photo to count for you, which can be pretty helpful if they just don't want to stand still and smile for the camera. You're going to get that backpack in no time. And hey, if I helped you out at all, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to keep up with any more guides or content I post. I'm Wickety, and until next time, bye!